Hello. Welcome to Uprooted. I'm sitting out on my patio step with the company of all of my plants that I've started from seed in the house on our grow station. I'm trying to get these hardened off, so I hope to be planting them in the next week or so. Um, let me give you a look, see what I have over here. The other thing I wanted to share today was um, my seed storage container. Um, I find this to be a really handy way to keep all my seeds, or seeds organized. This box is actually a photo box, which I had a few of them on hand. And the inside containers hold a four by six photo, but they also hold seed packet really well. It's a bitter melon. I have that growing. A Baker Creek. I'm excited about this. I'm going to grow it on a trellis. There were five seeds in this pack and they all germinated so I'm really excited. I have them out here. I'll show them. But the inside seeds are bright red and it's a white bumpy so that's cool. Anyways, back to the container. I, I took my label maker and just went through and put labels on all of them. Some of them I've doubled up because I don't have many of them. But if you're looking for a way to organize your seeds, I recommend this. I got them on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. But I have all my beans in here. Um, I'm going to show that Lady Godiva squat. Oh, it's right on top. This is what that Lady Godiva looks like. I think that's really pretty. So excited about that. They get, um, they're not really a, a big melon, but I am gonna grow them on a trellis, so if they need support, I'll tie them up. Excited about that. This is the Table Queen Acorn. We love acorn. This is supposed to be a really good variety. And I have this cord hook zucchini. And in the fall, I'm going to do some butternut squash and this really cool heirloom um, pumpkin, which is they call the Cinderella pumpkin. So, uh, Rare Seeds has a video on this too that's really interesting. Really um, recommend people checking out their backstories on on these plants. It's really interesting. So those are my squash. Um, now the hot peppers that I have um, going. I have a paprika. I have this Anaheim. I have, like, I have the cayenne. And I have the Tabasco. And I have Craig's Grand Jalapeno, which earned a um, an award at the Heirloom Show in California last year. So excited about those. Those are my hot peppers. I I see a lot of salsa being made, and I'm going to be de dehydrating. So a lot of different ways I have planned to. Um, boy, we got some birds, and sorry, there's a plane coming over now. I'll get the other peppers. I've got my sweet peppers. Um, this varieties I have the poblano. I'm not going to pronounce this one right, but that's pretty. I have that. These are my sweets. And I have quite a few of this King of the North. So I think we will um, eat a lot of these and use them in different things. 
And then my thank you with Baker Creek Seeds, you'll get a thank you pack. And this was a sweet chocolate pepper. I was really excited about seeing what those will be like. But those are my peppers, and I, I want to, like I said, I want to dehydrate some and make my own spices and lots of salsas and with the tomatillos that are coming up really great on the growing station I, I hope to make a lot of green a lot of good green chili sauce but um, tomatoes while I'm at it I'll just keep you here um, these are my tomato varieties I have going the, um, I have these this bumblebee I thought the color was really cool on that with the stripes and I have this um, variety here coming up really well on the grow table. Here's the tomatillos. And this Dutch, the Dutchman, I'm really excited about. This can get up to three pounds, kind of a red pink, but I'm excited about these. Um, Amish paste, I know a lot of people grow these and got a lot of recommendations from other YouTube. Um, Paul, from Richard and Paul grows these. Here's a, another thank you one I got. I, I think that's fun. He's the manager, I think, of the gardens. Got that watermelon on. But this was a purple Russian tomato, so excited about that. Here, and I got these from um, Totally Tomatoes, and this is the Roma 3. Well, can't see much, but these are growing on the station. Um, chocolate cherry, and these are, again, Totally tomatoes. This is the lime. These are really a big, big, thick um, stem. These lime greens. I'm interested in those. And I'm going to find out, you know, with this, all these different ones, what I'll do next year and what I won't, or, you know, some others I want to try. Here's the opaca. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. And I got sun sugar. I got an American original red beefsteak. Jet Star High bread and I think these are still just more of the um, purple ones I got yes yes so really excited this is the first time I've ever started a garden seed and it's been over 20 years that I've had a, a vegetable garden and um, I've just got so much inspiration from other YouTube channels. Um, one I, I would like to shout out a couple is uh, Dan at Plant Abundance. He has a food forest and so does James Prigiano. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. He has a great channel. He also has a food forest. I'm doing more of a raised bed type garden but I've learned a lot from them and you should check them out in Rare Seeds. So anyways that's my that's my little storage container and the catalog of all catalogs that I've really enjoyed looking at and browsing through and I went through and marked all the ones that I bought seeds of and that I've started or will be starting in the fall and I plan to you know go through and just jot a little note on you know the page of the the one that I'm going to be doing and just put a note on how well it did and see these are the uh, beans I have um, tongues of fire and I've got the dragon tongue actually going right now this is a bush style that I'm going to do direct so of these but anyways great catalog rareseeds.com is where you can order this they have a free catalog which is actually out they have given them all out for the year so they're taking um, lists for 2020 but this one you pay for I think I paid about 10 but it's beautiful beautiful um, catalog photographs lots of information um, Baker Creek is in Mansfield Missouri and they have a spring festival every um, every year and this year it's May um, it's a Sunday Monday 5th and 6th and I am going I'm gonna pick up my stay with my cousin Kelly who lives in Missouri and her and I are gonna attend it the festival and I'm really excited. I have some things on my list that I, I'm hoping to bring home with me. Um, some strawberry plants. I'm hoping to find comfrey because I can't find it anywhere. And um, just really have a great time at, at that festival. 
it with my cousin who's also a, a gardener. So looking forward to that. Uh, I have my, my crowns to plant. I'm going to plant those today, but first I want to get into my my five gallon worm bucket that I have buried out in the garden and I want to uh, dump that out for the first time and get my castings to put in um, with my around my crown so that's my next stop. I have to show my aloe vera. It's doing so well. It has all these little shoots coming out. We keep it in the garage in the winter because it's just too cold but it's we put, it's in a, a window that gets a lot of sun. Okay, here we are at the worm bucket. I really don't know what I'm gonna have in here, so it's kind of exciting. I haven't put any fresh food in it in, I think it's been two weeks. I wanted to see if they could eat down what I put in last and because we have holes drilled in, in the sides the worms can go, and the bottom, the worms can go in and out of this bucket. So, take a look, this got us screws on. We've been able to keep animals out of it that way. Let's see what we have. We've had a lot of rain lately, so it's a lot of water accumulated. I don't want to get it all in the... Share this. I found just loads of worm eggs in the castings. You can see there's four of them in there. So those will be going back. 